Hey everyone, if you're watching this on opening day, well, happy opening day. We're excited for another season of Major League Baseball. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create another StatCast database where you can pull your daily StatCast data from the previous day into your database so that way you can query it and load data and things like that. So it'll be a relatively short video, but we're going to get started. We're going to load in four libraries here, and we're going to get started, obviously, with Baseball R. So Baseball R, Dply R, then we got RSQLite. So we're going to create a SQLite database, and then, of course, DBI as well. If you don't have these installed, just simply install that packages and then insert the package name. However, Baseball R might still have an issue with that. So if that is the issue, just run DevTools install underscore GitHub and then Bill Petty Baseball R in case that's the issue. But then once you have those installed, just load them in your libraries like so. So first we're going to do is obviously get the StatCast data. So we're going to run just a simple DF command for your data frame. StatCast search, start date. Since we want to do this for each previous day, so you can run this once per morning, we can just do start date equals sysdate minus 1, end date equals system date. And then we'll say player type equals pitcher. So we're pulling the pitchers that we want, right? Pretty simple forward. Um, so when we do run it, should give you an error, at least if you're running it on opening day, since there was no games the previous day. So it should give you an error. Let's say we put in a different day, so we can do um, you know, 2024-326, let's say. So we run that, just for example's sake, um, to allow you to put it in there. Give it a second or two to load. So we can see here, you know, spring training data. Really cool there. But we're going to keep it as, you know, sysdate minus one there. Now, if you see, look closely into this data frame, right, you have the player name, which is the pitcher, but you don't have the name for the batter. So we can add that into our data frame. But first, we have to get Chadwick. So just simply run. We'll create a new data frame called Chadwick and just use the Chadwick player lookup. And that takes a minute or two to run because, again, it's pulling from that Chadwick data bank. Still loading, and it's good to go there. So now... You can kind of we'll get a glimpse into it. Has a lot of stuff. So like their ID um, with Chadwick, Baseball Reference Miners, Fan Graphs, um, MLB AM. So what we really want is since it's Statcast data MLB, we want their MLB AM. So we can just simply do Chadwick, Chadwick. And we're going to use the base piping operator. Feel free to use dplyr's piping operator if you want, since we have it loaded. Either way, it works. Um, so we're going to run that. Chadwick piping operator. dplyr select. We're going to say um, key MLB AM name first, name last. So that way we can get each player's first and last name. I'm looking at the wrong data frame. First and last name here. Pretty simple. But we also want to make some manipulations. So we want to it for it to match the pitcher name. So like Chase Silseth is a Silseth comma Chase. So we're going to do that as well. So we're going to say dplyr our mutate. And we'll say batter name since we're focused on the batters only. We'll say batter name equals paste zero, name last, comma, and then in quotes, we're going to do comma space. So that way we match what the player name is showing here, because there's a comma and a space between their first and last name. 
and then another comma on the outside name first we'll have that and then the last thing we want to do is select our column so since we're joining on the batter ID so batter here we're going to change that name to batter so batter equals key MLB AM and then batter name so we'll run that and now it shows the batter and then their key MLB AM so now we got that out of the way let's run the DF so DF and we're going to use from the dplyr package left join DF and Chadwick by batter so with the spring training data that's currently in there we should be able to see that and then however the batter name will be at the end of the data frame let's put it at the beginning or next to the player name so we'll select these columns and then everything so pitch type release position Z so here's how you can do it there deploy our select and we'll say pitch type colon release position Z then we'll say batter name then we'll rename player name to pitcher name so that way it doesn't get confusing and then at the end we will say everything which means we'll just take the remaining columns that we haven't listed and select those so now we run that and now you have a batter name and a pitcher name and again this is spring training data from the last spring training games so just a heads up there be wary of that because when you're running this during the regular season you know it, it might look different or when whenever you watch this video it might look different because again when you run it originally so I'll run it right now we should get no data because there's no games yesterday on March 27th the day before spring training but you want to write this data to a database right so we're going to create a database so we'll just call this SDB which is StatCast DB and we'll say DB connect our driver equals SQLite because we're just creating a SQLite database which just runs on your local machine allows you to query that data and then we'll just call it StatCast underscore DB dot SQLite so we have a little SQLite database pretty cool stuff there now we're gonna finish it off with a, a beautiful beautiful writing it to a table and then closing out your database so that way you can run it you know once per day and get your statcast data so we're gonna say DB write table and our CON, which is short for connection, is our StatCast database that we created. Our name is, we'll just call this StatCast underscore data. Call it whatever you want, but that's basically the name of the table that you're creating. And then our value equals DF. And then the last things we want to add is overwrite equals false. You don't want to remove the data that's already currently in there, but you want to add to it. So append equals true. So you might have an issue there because right now it's in a baseball R data. So we'll just make sure we convert that to a tibble. So DF, DF, piping operator tibble. So we convert that to a tibble so it's not in a baseball R data frame. Now we run that. And again, should give you an error because there's no data currently in the data frame. But when you run this, you should have have that kind of stuff so um, let me make sure oh excuse me so what we'll do just to, uh, make sure that it works for you watching this video we will use the last day of spring training once again just to be safe And convert it to a tibble again pull that data frame and now it should be in your database and one way to check so let's disconnect the database 
so we call that SDB and now we'll reconnect it so I'll rerun line 19 here and now we'll call this I guess spring training you know, last day and so after we connected our database we'll say DB get query um, our connection is still SDB and we'll say select star from since we called it statcast data statcast data limit 100 and we can see here it's in our database we have to pull the first 100 rows and was able to query like that so that is a easy way to get daily statcast data in R just pulling it and loading it to your SQLite database it will grow over time and you can be able to answer better questions this way through the SQLite database that you have created and through dplyr and all these other manipulations so let me know leave a comment below if you want me to do more videos on you know how to query a database um, how to you know query from your database and then make visualizations manipulations things like that but thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you know, the long patience that you've had. I do apologize for taking so long to post another video, but here we are, MLB opening day. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.